The foundation is such a massive component of a quality built home. Without a serious focus during the foundation stage of your new project, poor workmanship can create major headaches down the road. In this video, we discuss best practices for waterproofing and drainage for home foundations. So let's first take a look at waterproofing. We want to make sure the waterproofing has a thick coat at the joint between the foundation wall and the footing, as these are two separate concrete pores that can create a potential leak between them. So be sure to choose a basement foundation waterproofing material with a 30 year warranty that will bridge shrinkage cracks up to a minimum of 1 16th of an inch. Because one thing's for sure, concrete will crack. So be sure to check out our other two videos that share best practices for minimizing foundation wall cracks. After applying the waterproofing to the foundation wall, the insulation board is installed from the top of the footing to the grade line. This R10 insulation keeps the foundation wall closer to air temps in the basement to help reduce interior surface condensation. This board also drains up to 210 gallons of water per lineal foot per hour and protects the waterproofing during backfill operations. So now we're ready to install the drain tile which should form a complete loop around the entire perimeter of the basement. We use four inch solid pipe with holes on one side. This allows us to use a snake to clear the pipe should it become clogged in the future. The ridges in the corrugated pipes make them difficult to use with a snake or to run a camera down through them. So the drain tile pipe is installed below the footing with holes facing down on top of three to four inches of stone and filter fabric. Then 12 inches of stone is placed on top of the pipe and the filter fabric laid over top of the stone keeps silt from getting into the pipe. Here's another look at the pipe with stone surrounding it with filter fabric protecting it from silt intrusion. We install cleanouts centered on each house wall with a Y fitting for easy future access. So if we suspect a clogged drain tile, this setup allows us to get a snake or camera easily down either side of the fitting to the clogged area. In the past we used a T fitting here which made it hard to turn the corner with a snake or a camera. The drain tile then goes through the footing into the sump crock. Another best practice to prevent basement moisture problems is to backfill the foundation wall with washed stone 12 inches out from the wall and to within 18 inches of final grade. This stone drains the area up next to the wall and provides a buffer against expanding soils. Be sure to check out our other two videos below on foundation best practices. And if you need more information, stop by and see me at armchairbuilder.com.